now trying to start his round with an eagle on the par 5 tenth. Yeah, right now it'll start peeling back right. Did he hit it? Again, no such thing as a no stress birdie being bad. Coming off that birdie at first, this would be a great start. Get a couple under your belt early. Ooh, draws it back nicely. So he will have that good look as you see that ball mark on the green. Very, fall a little to the left, right? Yeah, very little in this part. Straight down the hill. Don't have to worry about the pace. You. You're good. You. Patrick Reed heard you. And that one went in to fall to two under par. Patrick Reed on the tee at the par 312. A comfortable shot is right to left. Has gone to that little lasso type finish with the driver to hit some cuts to oh. the fairway, but that was an uh, excellent iron shot. 203 yards, dangerous left hole location. <laughs> Almost hold it. So, yeah. that, that has attention for a while. Make three in a row here. The bonanza of birdies to oh, start look the at day. You. I didn't hear you call that one though. Uh, it's just really a straightforward pitch for a man of Patrick level. Currently, the lead is minus six, Taylor Gooch. But with that birdie, Patrick Reed goes in to a tie for third. Now, Patrick, ready to attack this first hole. These are the money clubs for Reed. Yes, sir. Probably wanted to carry that one another yard, and that would have been dead solid and perfect. Even though Bubba probably has the better look, I would be betting on this guy to make. You are good. This is Billy Kratzer, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate the artistry and the poetry that you're experiencing right now. Give him this one a rip. Right hole location, trying to cut it in there. All right. A challenging putt. It's getting better by the second. Yep. Deal with some some ridges. Yeah, it's a huge slope here, so he's got to go up and around and over. Patrick Reed for his eagle attempt. Didn't, get, didn't play it high enough. Yeah. Just couldn't play it high enough. He'd like to add this to the tally. For a share. There you go. It's just so important to get off to a good start here at the north. Now Patrick Reed, co-leader. Another one looking right. Maybe trying to use the slope to the right, spin it down to the hole. Well, he's eyeing the flag. You can always tell. When the eyes go from the ball, flag, ball, flag, ball, flag. An indication that they know they've hit something well, the way they want it to. Well, back to six, and Patrick Reed to take the outright lead with his seventh birdie of the day. Yes, sir. Boy, he is in complete control of his game, Craig. In the, in the midst of this round, that's what he needs to do. Yeah, the club's set. That. The club is set beautifully at the top for Jordan mm -hmm. as we watch. The second from Patrick Reed. He is some kind of competitor. Good stroke there. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing how efficient he is around the greens. Oh, he'd make it more. The thickness of this lie will dictate how this ball comes out. If you can get the club, enough club on it, you should better control it. It's going to be pretty good. For 63. Well, you talked about it, Billy. You think of the opportunities he had at the eight, the previous hole, and then here at the ninth, the uh, 64 could have been very easily a couple of shots lower. Mm.
still brilliant playing. So Rahm a 67 today, eight under. Reed was eight under to start the day, early bogey, but this yeah. beautiful one at the third. If you're going to pose your finish, this is a great hole to do it on and a great shot. Want that picture up to the fourth, so looking to go back to back. Yeah, this is where his draw comes in, very useful on this hole. Send it down the right, oh, back right corner of the green. Would make that, get it to nine under. Read for par here at the seventh. So, what, well, this is hilarious. It's, I know. That's only 200 yards away from the eighth green. That's crazy. And there, it looks like there's very little rain. Ball just slightly above the feet. He's ordinarily very good out of the bunkers. Yeah, he'll fancy this one. A really shallow approach, and look at this. Patrick Reed, he's a gritty sort. Nice bit of up, slope there to, oh yeah, to get that, exactly. Get the one bounce at zipper. Just a short little back swing, you'll see an abbreviated follow through. More of a Full follow through there for a 70% shot. Farthest off the tee and closest to the pin. He had 18 putts through 13 holes today, so feeling very comfortable on these bent grass Poana greens. 11 feet 10 oh. inches, and apparently you okay. can't miss. Uh, did, did you see the conviction? That one just yes. poured in the center. Now, even though he spun it off the green, at 17, he's pretty good at minimizing spin with wedges. Like that? <laughs> like that. Nice shot, bud. Almost made it. Eight under yesterday, level today, and it's Eight under through the first two rounds. Go up to the second. And Patrick Reed, little hanging lie. Birdie on the first, signals intentions and just a tickle with a wedge in here. Oh, oh pull the string, lovely stuff, taking advantage of the benign conditions. Just a little bit of work to move to minus nine. Patrick Reed, quick strike down. That's how you want to begin moving day. One under, quickly into a tie for the lead. No bailout on the fourth, 458 yards, the par four. That's Patrick Reed to a left hole location. Dialed in early is Reed. Beautiful birdie on two, another good strike here on four. While we're in break, we saw this. Patrick Reed, this at four. Oh. Uphill, just <laughs> a little more strong at the top, too. Keep turning. Is it coming back? Keep turning. Yeah, that's a little all right. ground turn ever hurts either. Patrick Reed minus two for his day, and he's on the par five, sixth in two. Been over the slope from about 40 feet, this four eagle. Climbs the ridge, should start to turn left. Tracking. Oh, bingo. Wow. The big bird lands for Patrick Reed <laughs> on the sixth. Picture your landing spot, release it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. How good is that? Game is on. How good is that? Reed to clean up. Yeah, that's a heck of an up and down, heck of a chip. As we get our season started, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Jim. He hit a wonderful pitch at the seventh up to a foot. He's great at uh, picking a spot, landing on the spot, and we're great. He's done it again, a foot from the hole, and this is his trademark. Now one of the great chippers on tour. Okay, here he is back live. Tap in to 13 under. We're going to step aside now. Now with a decent lie. I would say a degree of difficulty out of 10. I'd still give it a strong seven and a half. There's a lot of slope in the middle of that green. I actually judged that very well, despite the circumstance. Downhill. Wow. 
Oh, another roll. What a fall. <laughs> How about that? Oh, what a fall. Play out of the fairways. Missed yeah. two. That was costly to him, too. It's going to slip on. Yeah. Oh, oh, stayed on line. Yeah, back to 10 under. Shoots 31 39. Four yards to work with. Nice bit of scoop on the follow through to get it to stop. Yeah, that was textbook <laughs> there. Our stance. Lousy bounce. <laughs> oh, it's getting better now. Wow. That's that's really really good from there. I mean, you could see how fast that was. Boy, that man could play match play. And as you said, he was always in the hole as long as he had a wedge in his hand. Yeah, that's a that's a great comparison. You never see him until he gets to the green. Then you have to ask him what he made, and it's par. <laughs> and he, and he, yeah, it's half. <laughs> Reed now a co-leader. Second from 272 out. And that one looks like it's. Taking on a decent line, it's going to find the left side of the screen. The pin is cut on the other side, but at least able to use that backstop. And so he'll have an eagle try from the opposite side. Nick, you've been watching mm. Reed from his first shot today, teeing off at 10:30 this morning local time. What has he done so far that uh, has made a mark on you? He's even part at this point. Yeah, it's been a little out of timing, a little out. Of, uh, no, apart from that, how about that for timing? Look at that. So there you Second go. Second straight day. Wow. At the sixth hole, he drains a long one for eagle. Releasing the club well, and on a hanging lie, does he over-release it? Uh, compensated beautifully. Okay, that's safe. That is a tough hole location back corner. Patrick Reed over at the seventh while we were in full discussion. He's just come off a long eagle that dropped at the sixth for the second straight day. And makes another one. Just decided to go for five o'clock. Fabulous shot. So drives it well right. It's a solid second shot back into play, and again. There you go. Not much follow through on that one, was there? It was really good. Yeah. Took the risk, too. Look at 10, Reed. That's a heck of an up and down from the back. And there's easier, easier back nines than the back nine. Nick, he's got this in a part of the bunker that's been mm. raked. It's, I think it's raked where Molinari oh. Molinari yeah. hold it. He's been, oh, how about this one? Oh. So what's that? Six for 11 out the bunkers this week. Deep, and he's going to have about five feet left for par. He's got a face full of sand for the effort. Nice sand save. Stay 13 under. Come in a little warm. We flew it high. Threw it further up than I said because I'm old school, but that was again fabulous touch. It used to be under the radar. I said, "Have you have you seen this guy? How good he is!" And now, obviously, it is full in under spotlight. He's got great touch, great vision, but his quality ball striking—that's the bottom line. Textbook stuff. Yep, his wedge game. Absolutely spectacular. 
So it just shows you what a brute of a back nine. There's your birdie. Yeah.